Hello everyone, FireMac here, and we're back with some more Kingdom Hearts Union Cross! yo yo! So if you tuned in last time, we just got the bombshell of Oh my god, Ven's alive during the Keyblade War, or was, or whatever. Technically not in Keyblade War, because Keyblade War happened already and stuff. Don't worry about the, the, the minute details, okay? It's just Ven, Ven's alive in a time that he, we, he shouldn't be alive from what we know, obviously. And Ven's a huge player in, you know, in the Kingdom Hearts lore, if you don't know. You know okay. So, that was... Wait, what? I actually don't remember. <laughs> was it this cutscene? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I can skip ahead to the next quest. Alright. So, triple six, you know, that's a good deal. So, we're gonna get more... So, as you can see, our player character is doing nonsense. Here's our Koopo, Koopo guy. Hey there! Remember me, Koopo? I just wanted to let you know that the others were raving about you. It sounds like you really helped them out with their task. I'm gonna work extra hard so I can be a as strong as you, Koopo! Huh? You wanna come with me, Koopo? Boy, that would be great! To be honest, Kupo, being on my own has been a little scary. Alright, let's get started! <laughs> oh, Target, here's the blue dual blade! Got it, Kupo! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm really sorry, guys, but... I can't. It's just too fun to make that really annoying voice. Okay, so, as you can see, our player character is doing absolutely nothing important to really sell home the point that we don't matter anymore. We're not important to the story. Who cares about us? We want to know what's going on with the union leaders. And yeah, that's what the story's gonna be. It's about other people that's not us. If that makes you angry, good. It should. Because that's really annoying writing that they left us out of it. Also, I guess I shouldn't have done that whole quest at all. It wasn't even important. It was not important at all. It was filler. It's more filler. This is also filler. This is small filler in between the, the good stuff. But, you know, like, since I'm doing it, might as well continue it, right? So let's keep, keep, keep it going. Let's keep the train going. The filler is also a good excuse for them to just revisit places we haven't been to in forever, because, you know, this Dwarf Wordland story is done already. If you recall, we're, like, done with, like, nearly every world, except Agrabah. Remember, Agrabah's movie story has not happened. Uh -huh. The target's just up ahead, Cubo! Alright, this is where... Things are gonna happen. Looks like speed is the name of the game, Kubo. Kubo. All right, let's get to the cutscene because there is a cutscene in this quest. Not this part. There is a cutscene. I swear, guys. I swear there's a cutscene. I can't thank you enough, Kipo! Gosh, I hope I'm all caught up with the others now! Well, thanks again, Kipo! Yep, here we go. Nightmares? Uh-huh. It's hard seeing Farmac like that. I hate lying, but I know it's for the best. It is. It might be hard, but you're doing a great job. Of course, we're best friends. I can tell. Hold on, guys. I got a cat next to me. Mug bug me. Cheersy, don't forget about your task. I won't. Union Cross, right? Title drop. That's right. 
New Adventures with Friends is a great way to bury sad memories deep within one's heart. And we can't stand to lose anyone now. So what's happening right now is what we're seeing classic Nomura over-explanation of stuff that does not need to be explained right now. Because right now, Union Cross, okay? Remember before this game was called Unchained? Okay, well this is officially when the game gets a title change. It becomes Union Cross. And what's Union Cross? It's the multiplayer mode. So, they had to explain why the multiplayer exists. That's what this cutscene is for. <laughs> we can't stand to lose anyone now. The darkness of this world is not the same as what we faced in the other one. Different? How? It feels more complex, like there's more to it than meets the eye. Almost like it has its own will. That's a hint for more plot stuff. Don't worry, we'll look into it. In the meantime, you know what your job is. Fill Farmac in on everything, okay? Will do! What was that about? There's no need to worry anyone until we know for sure what, what it is. I know, I'm sorry, but this concerns everyone. I get really bad feeling every time something bad something happens in this world that didn't happen in the other one. Alright, so this is more confirmation that, you know, we're in a different world. We are in a different world. This is a copy of the other world. And if you can't if that confuses you, think back to Kingdom Hearts 2. In the beginning of Kingdom Hearts 2, we were in a copy of Twilight Town. And how was that copy made, guys? Through data. That's right. Data is very important in Kingdom Hearts lore. Data is like, you know, just like another layer of BS that Kingdom Hearts throws on top of everything. <laughs> so, I, I don't know. I don't know how to explain. It's just data is just another physical form, in a sense, in when it comes to Kingdom Hearts. Anything that's possible with data. Kind of like anything's possible in the dream. Well, you can do the same crap in data. <laughs> That's what this is. I just wanted to explain that before we continue. Okay, I get a really bad feeling here. Okay, okay, yep, I said that already. This Union Cross business also feels off. Something's not right. But we were told to make it happen. It's in the rules, remember? I know, but may your heart be your guiding key. So confirmation that this is another world, and then we are replaying the events of what happened already. Confirmation of that. If you were confused before and you didn't understand that that was the case, those dialogue bits may have been really confusing for people. Just remember that, but we know for a fact now that that's the case. That is 100% the case. This game was never a reimagining, it was never like a, a reboot, nothing like that. This is a legit a sequel to Kai. While at the same time, making us make sure we don't actually have to play Kai. Because, you know, the Americans never got to play the browser version. It's a little confusing in, in that regard, but just think of it as a reboot sequel. <laughs> As a sequel, where we got to replay everything, and we get more and more stuff. Okay, so... The game's officially called Union Cross now, you can forget that Unchained stuff. Unchained doesn't exist anymore, and we're continuing on with our filler crap. Filler, filler, filler. I'm going too far. Filler, bam. Okay, Master Ased. Okay, you see that right there? This is important. This is very important. In fact, this is going to lead us into a little side side thing here. We cannot avoid the end. Not even the masters, including myself, are likely to survive. Oh, that was Ava talking. <laughs> I don't know why I tried to give him a gruff, give her a gruff voice. Me, a master, a union leader? That's crazy. And what's this nonsense about the end? There isn't much time left. You are the ones who will remain. Someone needs to keep everything and everything in order. And everyone in order, sorry. Otherwise, light will expire. 
But... I'll select four others from the Dandelions. The five of you will each lead a union, as the five of us have. You won't be alone at this. The five of you can work together. The five of us? Notice that is not the Book of Prophecies. That is not the Book of Prophecies. That was just a normal ass little notepad. You two know each other, huh? Must be nice. I've always been on my own. I was pretty much on my own, too. I wonder why I was chosen for this. I'm not especially good at anything. And I'm never at the top of the rankings. In game. Like, that's in game mechanics references right there. I'm sure Master Ava has her reasons. You think so? I don't know. I don't know her all that much. I've barely spoken with her. She's easy to talk to, that's for sure. You say that about everyone. Not true. I sure wish I had friends. You do! Right here! Yeah! Friends. Cool. Donny? Nani? Nani Nani? You must be number four. Who's this guy? New guy, huh? The name's Brain. Pleasure. So who's Brain, guys? Who knows? Who knows? Alright, this right here is a flashback. We are remembering the ending of Kai right now. Because we actually... Our player character did get involved in the Keyblade War. Now we're getting a flashback that even further back before the events of the Keyblade War happen. Alright, so this is a cutscene that happens just a little before the end starts. Not again. Don't get involved. I, I know it's frustrating, but you can't fix everything. Everyone seems to be have to. Ugh. Everyone seems to have a bone to pick. I hope things don't get any worse. Yeah, we blocked that. You see that? You see how freaking cool we were? Fire Mac! <coughs> Wait, we're all on the same side. Are we? Then why did he steal our Lux? What are you talking about? We're just trying to protect the light. I'll bet good money that it's your union that's fallen into darkness. Traitors! What? What did you say? How can you prove you're not the traitor? Hold on! We're all on the same side! Why are you fighting? Mind your business! Hey, look, Skull's here. Stop it! Stop it! Scold! Who are you? Which union do you belong to? Doesn't matter, our only enemy is darkness. Our Keyblades aren't meant to harm one another. Anyone who tries to steal the light is no different than a monster of darkness. What? The war's already begun! That's right. Nani, nani, nani! Alright, I will like to mention here, you know how there's usually a slight differences between the unions? This is actually always a said. A said always shows up right here. We can only place trust in our, our own unions. We cannot tell who has fallen into darkness with a mere glance. Why do you fight over Lux? Light is not proof of strength, the victory is proof of strength. And a strong union is proof of justice. What? Do you disagree? Aren't you one of Ava's chosen wielders? One of the dandelions? You, of all people, should be able to see what she's using her special union to demonstrate her power. 
Oh no, he's got a point. Oh no. I don't belong to the dandelions. Mm-hmm, I don't belong to nobody. Which union do you belong to? Angus. 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 Angus Steak Burger. Stand ready. Nani? And, you know, he's gonna beat him up. Get out of here, I said. Bam! Get out of here. We don't want you none of that. You, you, you bare butt. Bare butt. Bare naked butt. Bare. Bears. Anyway. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that one. It's okay, we're, we're back to the present. We were, we were dreaming that. We were remembering this. We were actually dredging up old memories in our dreams. Where am I? Are you okay? Was it all a dream? You look like you were having a nightmare. Why didn't you take it easy today and get some rest? It's... <laughs> I try to do a cheery voice, it's just, it doesn't work, guys. I know you've been telling you're probably telling me to shut up for a while now, but... <laughs> I think I will. How long was I asleep? No longer than usual. Okay, night night. Good night. That's the cheer thing, boys. <laughs> no, there, are there are rules the five of you must obey when you become leaders of your own unions. I'm listening, but this whole conversation about the end and leading unions and all, I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. As long as you keep listening. Okay. What I need you to do is prepare the other world. I'll be sending all the Danlines there soon. You'll continue living your lives, but without the impending doom. So it's like an alternate reality? Yes. But in order for it to work, the Nightlands will need to forget all about the strife, the war. So everything I've been explaining to you guys is being explained right here. But like I said, some of this dialogue might be confusing to you if you do not quite understand what what's going on. Because while this is being explained, it's still not obvious to someone who's been playing this that this is the case, that we are already in the sequel part. That's where people get confused. But once you realize that we were already in the sequel to begin with, all this dialogue starts to make sense. So they won't remember any of it? There's no need for them to remember such a tragedy. It's simply... it'll be simply be a burden. It'll simply be a burden. Only the five of you will know the truth. The charity of each wielder will make it happen. It might be a burden, but isn't it better to remember the past? The past is what makes the future. So our charities are the ones that made us forget. I thought you might say that. But I wonder if you would feel the same if you were there to witness the end. I still agree that we shouldn't have had our memories wiped. I think that's a big breach of, you know, of our privacy, you know, like, we should know the truth. They shouldn't hide the truth from us. But I understand why they did it, because if that, those thoughts were there, the, the thought of recreating, a, like, peace and moving forward might not have been possible. People might have been, you know, trying to prevent trying to go back and try to save everyone that may have survived the war, you know, like, it would have gotten in the way. I understand why, that's what, that's the logistics, the, lo bleh, the logistics of it. Okay, let's go back to the, the cutscene. 
sorry that I'm talking so much. That's like not the cutscene. <laughs> Thought I'd be the last to arrive. But guess I'm not so lazy after all. And I guess not. So you the leader? No, we haven't decided any of that yet. I think we should wait until we're all here. You got it. Hey, how about the rules? Think they think they're set in stone, or m more like a guideline? They're rules. Of course, they're set in stone. I get it. You're the serious one, like Master Ava. You're not the first person to say that. I thought you seemed familiar. <clears throat> I thought you seemed familiar. But Master Ava is so amazing. What does that mean? Is it? I'm not sure if that's showing up, but like every time Ephemer kind of like ducks his head down, kind of it kind of looks like he's got a little goatee going on. <laughs> okay, but seriously, how do we know we can trust her? She's forcing us to lie to everyone since we're the only ones who are supposed to know the truth. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about it either. But... Another flashback to the Keyblade War. We're still on the ground. Everyone's dead. As you can see, that's what all those hearts are. Our Chirithi's here. It's alright. You've done enough. You basically preparing to die here. But what's this? Is it my time? Scald? Fire Mac. And then we're crying. You can't really tell, but there's a tear in our eye. We made a, a promise! <laughs> I didn't forget. You're late! I know, I'm sorry. So that was Ephraim remembering that. And to explain to you guys, we were basically about to die, but Ephraim and Skuld show up and basically save us. And then they send us to the second world. But we forget all that, apparently. So there you go. <laughs> I thought you might say that. But I wonder if you would feel the same if you were there to witness the end. Rules are rules. I don't want anyone else to have to carry the burden of the past. Got it. I trust you'll guide us down the right path. Same here! Just one more. Alright, so... This is how we're gonna do these things. Alright, so now that we have officially reached a point that our, the, the, our memories of the Keyblade War were dredging up and they just quickly go away because then they're never brought up again. But because of that, because of that, we are actually going to stop right here at 675 and we are going to start the Keyblade War. As you can see, part 1, 2, and 3. We are going to cover the Keyblade War. From beginning to end, guys. So, since it's here, I will cover it, and then I will kind of explain as much as I can about, you know, the differences and all that. But that's going to have to wait till the next episode, everybody. Tune in next time for some more Kingdom Hearts Unicross the Speed Run, kind of. 
yeah, that, that's all I gotta say. See you next time, everybody. Spiramax signing out. Toodles!